With the school year approaching, Officer Dave Darling and Volunteer Earl will give us some insights on the rules of the road and school safety tips to make this upcoming school year a safe one. Hi, I'm Officer David Darling with the Newport Beach Police Department. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about school safety, some of the things that will help us more effectively do our job in enforcing the areas around the school, and give you parents and kids some tips to get you to and from school safely. School is just around the corner, and what we'd like to talk to you today a little bit about is the safety around the school, because the safety for our children is paramount. I think we can all agree on that. And some of the things that we're seeing most commonly around the school are the speeding, the stop sign violations, and the illegal parking. Speeders, you all know who you are out there. Let's talk about speeding in a school zone. School zone posted speed limits are 25 miles an hour. You'll know that it's a 25 mile an hour zone because it's usually very clearly posted with bright yellow signs that say so. It's during school days when children are present. All right, Earl, you ready to talk to the viewers about the California Vehicle Code? I'm coming, I'll be right there. California Vehicle Code sections 22450A and California Vehicle Code sections 21950A respectively. The driver of any vehicle approaching a stop sign at the entrance to or within an intersection shall stop at a limit line if marked, otherwise before entering the crosswalk on the near side of the intersection. The driver of a vehicle shall yield the right of way to a pedestrian crossing the roadway within any marked crosshatch or with any unmarked crosshatch at an intersection. Okay, what Earl is trying to say is that stop sign means stop. It's as easy as that. I don't think we need to belabor it, but stop means stop. If there's a limit line, you have to stop at the limit line. If there's a crosswalk, then you have to stop at the first line of the crosswalk. And in absence of any of that, you need to stop at the nearest prolongation of the curb line or basically the intersection. Let's talk about the illegal parking in and around the school. The problem that we have is the parents want to either drop off their kids or pick them up really quick, pull to the curb, get the kids in or out of the car, and then pull away from the curb. The problem that we see with that is that the kids around the car may not be visible to the driver. That's when we start having our accidents. So please don't drop off your kids in an area that was not designated for either specifically dropping off or picking up your kids. All right, we've talked about cars. Let's talk about the rest of you guys and how you get to and from school. Let's talk about the pedestrians, you guys walking. Let's talk about anybody using anything with wheels, the skateboarders, the bicyclists, the Razor scooters, Heelys. I want to talk about all of those rules that apply to all of you right now. California Vehicle Code Section 21212, Subsection A. A person under 18 years of age shall not operate a bicycle, a non-motorized scooter, or a skateboard, nor shall they wear in line or roller skates, nor ride upon a bicycle, a non-motorized scooter, or a skateboard as a passenger upon a street, bikeway, or any other public bicycle path or trail, unless that person is wearing a properly fitted and fastened bicycle helmet that meets the standards of either the American Society for Testing and Materials or the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission or standards subsequently established by those entities. And thank you for that, Earl. What Earl is trying to say is that if you're under 18, you've got to wear a bicycle helmet. If you're riding a bicycle, skateboards, rollerblades, heelys, any of those things with wheels, you've got to have that helmet on your head. Keep it properly fitted and fastened. Make sure that chin strap is tight and be very careful. I don't think there's a single person out there who fell down who expected that they were going to fall down. So you never know when these things are going to happen. Keep that helmet on your head. California Vehicle Code Section 21202, Subsection A. Any person operating a bicycle upon a roadway at a speed less than the normal speed of traffic 
moving in the same direction at that time shall ride as close as practicable to the right-hand curb or edge of the roadway. Even Earl knows how to keep it simple. Some of these laws are very basic. Riding your bicycle the wrong way on a roadway is illegal. So ride your bicycle in the roadway with the flow of traffic and be careful of your surroundings. All right, let's talk about you drivers with provisional licenses. The most common violation we see is you drivers driving around with somebody in the car who is under 20 years old. You can't take your friends to, to lunch. You can't take them to the movies in the afternoon. You just can't drive with somebody under 20 years old. That is the most common violation that we see. We also see that some of the parents want their older child to drive the younger child to school. You just can't do that, not until you're 18 or outside uh, the one-year mark of your driver's license provisional status. California Vehicle Code Sections 23123 and 23124, respectively. A person shall not drive a motor vehicle while using a wireless telephone unless that telephone is specifically designed and configured to allow hands-free listening and talking and is used in that manner while driving. A person under the age of 18 years shall not drive a motor vehicle while using a wireless telephone, even if equipped with a hands-free device or while using a mobile service device. I don't even know if Earl has a cell phone, but let's talk about the use of cell phones while we're driving for just a moment. We have a difference in the law when it comes to over 18 drivers and under 18 drivers. So I want to clarify some of the misconceptions in those areas and let's do that now. First, let's talk about the over 18 drivers. Over 18 drivers, you already know as of July 1st of 2008, you cannot use your cell phone while driving unless you're using a hands-free device. There are a couple of exceptions. If you're calling emergency services such as fire or police or a medical provider, then you can use a cell phone, but only in that particular instance. Under 18, a little bit different. Under 18 year old drivers, you cannot use a cell phone in any manner whatsoever while driving a car. You cannot talk on the phone, hands free or text, leave that up to your passengers. We've discussed some laws today, but what I'd like to talk about are some of the things that don't really have anything to do with the law. A couple of things that help the police department provide a safe environment around the school are walking your child to school or parking away from the school and walking in. Walking your child to school will reduce the congestion around the school and it'll provide some time with your child where you could teach them a little bit about the rules of the road, maybe things that they don't understand, and it'll ensure that they get to and from school safely. Thank you for watching. For further information, go to our website and nbpd.org.